Hey everybody, I'm Izzy Smith and welcome back to Fallout 4. We are here at Grey Garden, which is not one of my settlements, but it is on the way to Diamond City. Um, in the last episode we left off, we were at the Massachusetts Blood Clinic, just outside of Fort Hagen. We had gotten done taking care of Mr. Kellogg. And after that, Heather and I made a run up to Sanctuary and Abernathy Farm and Red Rocket. I had a few places that needed to be looked at in some settlements, as that message that just appeared on the screen indicated. So we stopped in and took care of that. And now we're back on our way to Diamond City to talk to Nick about what happened with Kellogg, which would be the uh, reunions right here. Discuss your findings with Nick. Now, while I was doing that, I also noticed a couple of things while I was looking at the missions. Raider troubles at Oberlin Station. We have the Oberlin Station uh, Preston Garvey mission, which I had not done yet, and it's on the way, and also, if you look at Heather's mission here, Tour of the Commonwealth, she would like to see, along the route, if I can find it, she was talking about wanting to see a UFO and I think that is right along the way so we'll just go ahead and look into that so we are on our way now Oberlin Station is on the other side of this train trestle that's Beantown Brewery there's a raider down there somewhere and shooting at us already That was tough. Nah, that wasn't that bad. That was nothing. <laughs> that was already taken care of. So, yeah, uh, that's the Beantown Brewery. Diamond City's over that direction. Okay. Every single ghoul goes feral. It's just a matter of time. That is true. I have heard that. So, uh, Diamond City's down that direction. Um, let's see. Whoop. Whoa. And we go across here. And we've got a dog. Dead dog now. Alpha. Yep. Alpha Wild Mongrel. Now, this is Oberlin Station. So, we'll see what these settlers want. We will check in with them and let them know that the Minutemen have arrived. Let's see. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> Did the Minutemen send you? Yes, I'm here to help. What's the problem? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone, stealing our food and supplies and threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. All right. Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three, but who knows how many are back at their base. Okay, and they're at Backstreet Apparel. So, we'll cut across back through here and make our way towards Boston. Now, back in an episode, uh, way back in the time when I was running with Piper, we saw a UFO go overhead, and it crashed somewhere in this area on the map. Let's see. Somewhere in this vicinity. 
between Oberlin, Boston, or the Beantown Brewery, and in this wilderness area here. So we'll keep an eye out for signs of that. I know it's around. I do recall. Let's see. I'm seeing... Okay, there's fire and smoke. Yeah. There, I think this is it. Not the car. <laughs> it's an alien spaceship. We did it. We found one. An actual spaceship. Yep. There it is. Proof positive, ladies and gentlemen, that aliens exist. I've been telling you all this time, and now... There it is. I have proof. I can actually... Jump up on top of this thing. Yep. Whoa. Watch out. Now, I know for a fact it's not from Krypton because it's not shaped like a Kryptonian vessel. It looks more uh, Zeta Reticuli to me. Something of the gray manufacture. And... Ooh, there's some green blood, so... There's some more. We will find out what this little guy is up to. Never trust a gray. Never trust a gray. Never trust them. The Zeta Reticuli are the worst. He's in this cave. Alright. Dog meat, come here. Hey. Over here. First of all, you don't need to get involved. Wait there. Hello, I represent the people of Earth. I am the doctor. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Whoa, hey, you. We found an alien, a real alien. I wish he'd been friendly. Yep. Yeah. So do I. He decided to open fire. That's a Zeta. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Actually, for those of you who just missed it, because I picked it up too fast. Alien blaster pistol. Not bad. And it just pointed out that uh, if I'd like to earn brownie points with Heather, here you go. Let's do it. Let's see. Optional, give the alien blaster to Heather, earn 20 points. Let's see. And we'll give her the power cells, too. Is this for me? I get the alien weapon? Thank you. Sure. I never use that thing anyway. At most, it just hangs on my wall. <laughs> In my other game, it did. I didn't do anything with it. And so dog meat wants to roll around in the alien blood. He'll probably smell wonderful. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey. Come on. Let's go. We're done here. And there you go. 
we found a alien spaceship. Bonafide flying saucer. And he wasn't a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater either. So. Now we'll head off towards Diamond City. Uh, on the way, we can stop at Backstreet Apparel. Man, look at the hub flower everywhere. There's tons of it. Wish we could find some mer uh, mutated fern. That's what she's looking for. Okay. I see someone right there. I'm not sure who he is or what he wants. Let's see if he's friendly. He doesn't have a gun drawn. I found it first. All right. Now listen, buddy. There's two ways this can go. We're just gonna go around. You just be cool. We'll just be cool. We're just gonna be a couple of little Fonzies. And what are little Fonzies like? Cool, man. Dog meat, leave the man alone. Leave him alone. Wait a minute, what's this? Who are you guys? Who's firing? Who's... Hey! Who are you shooting at? Who are you guys? Whoa! Okay. Helped you out there. Hey, now! Damn, you're scary with that thing. What's going on? Should have just run. Raider. You're seriously shooting at my dad. You know what? I've had it with all you people around here. <laughs> this whole neighborhood's full of crazoids. Yeah, look at that. Take your lamp, too. Alright. We're getting out of here. Man, she's scary with that alien blaster. Look what that thing does. Crispy. Roasty toasty. Alright, we'll head down this way. And see about backstreet apparel. Uh, turn on the compass. <laughs> you need to catch up first. So she's going to use that thing. All right. And we're looking around here. Where is this place? Hot. Wait a minute. There's your turret. There's you. There's your other turret. Whoa! And I don't 
don't know. Okay. I love it down here by the water. But the fucking raiders and muties do their best to spoil the view. Yeah, they do. That they do. It is pretty down here. Kinda. Aha! Aha! It's a launcher. Yeah, I vaguely remembered there was some kind of a trap or something around here. Now this should be it. Yep. That was a good one. You have any more stories like that? How much time you got? Hey. Yeah, I have a few. Let me see. Move here. A couple years back, before I met Clutch, me and a couple friends found a young kid on the north side of the. Hold charm. position. He wasn't that young, probably around 18 or so. Anyway. After hanging out with him for a while, it started to get dark, so I built a fire. Huh? Who's there? Damn it. Damn it. Hey, who's there? Just hide. Crap. I found him! Grab that. <laughs> On him. <laughs> Uh oh. I saw oil on the floor. Hit the deck. Okay. All right. That did not turn out the way we wanted it, but. It's called fear. Really? I'll show you fear. Come on out. Really? <laughs> hey! Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't even get to look around this place. Man, she is scary with that gun. So that's what that tripwire was. Dead already. All right, we're coming up. Here you go. Nope. Oh, what's up? Incoming. Still alive? Christ. Hmm. <laughs> Careful, Heather. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Getting tired yet? Oh. Yep, dropped ya. Oh, we got a twitcher. <laughs> dropped your beer, by the way. Hey, duct tape. Aha! Bingo. We'll take that. Uh, Lost in the Snows of Lust, Grognak. Issue number eight. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus five damage. Ain't personal, just you or me. Wait a minute, somebody's left down there? Oh, look. Dinky D dog food. If it's good enough for Mad Max. There's a Mac 11. And a stim pack. Says she's downstairs. You better be worth it. Yeah. A lot of blah blah. That's all right.
Bottle caps, 99. Quit, on clutch. Huh. I got a feeling you're in here. Yeah. See that? You feel that? That's fear. Advanced terminal. I'll do my best. Yeah, Heather's gotten up to advanced terminals in the last episode, I think. Come on. All yours. Cool. 15 infinity. Chat with Heather. What's up? What's on your mind? This is working for me. I like traveling with you. Works for me. Turns out, you're the best kind of partner. I'm still alive. I've got no new scars, and you never whine. It's perfect. <laughs> and fun. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. <laughs> Well, gotta be honest, right? I was hoping for more than a pat on the back. So, more like a pat on the butt. Maybe next time. <laughs> I've done some shifting around, so I can carry more stuff for you. Probably 25 pounds or so. And I'm going to increase your discount. Seems like the right thing to do. I probably shouldn't price gouge a friend. Cool. Little... Little awkward, but... Okay, yeah. Let's see. Safe control. Let's get back to uh, unlocking that safe. What do you say there, huh? Yeah. All right. But, hey, you know, she uh, upped the carry weight and everything and get a bigger discount. So very cool. Got it. Yeah, rat right away. That's not bad. So, the big bad raiders that were given Oberlin Station a problem have been dealt with. And we're even taking their stuff. Pre-war money. What else we got around here? Trilby hat. Hmm. <laughs> I gotta admit, she looks good with that alien pistol. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> hey, partner. What's on your mind? Not much. You? Uh. No. That, that, that was, was it. it. No problem. Cool. Okay. Caps. Pair of shades. Wait a minute. Yeah. Thought, it, thought that's what I saw. Yeah, there was a trip wire there for that shotgun trap. Alright. We're done. And here we are back outside in the beautiful Fens area, which I can't remember which way it goes to Diamond City, but I do want to check this Nuka Cola machine. Whoop, sorry. And nothing. Hmm. Uh. I am so tired today. Well, we have been doing a lot of running. 
We've been everywhere. Seems like. Although the viewers at home haven't seen it. Not all of it. Yeah, I know that wall. Yeah, hi. Didn't it, didn't we do this dance last time? <laughs> Goof. I thought I could have swore. That's a gun trap. Hmm. Let's just keep moving. Hey! Excuse me? <laughs> Alright, so you want me to come in there and shoot you. Alright. Yeah, I can oblige you. Come on. There you are. And you just got vaporized. How'd that feel? Holy crap. Yes. Ghoul Slayer's automatic LK05. Does 50% more damage against ghouls. Nice. He was a legendary. Automatic combat rifle. Take his Tato too while we're at it. And I like that sturdy armor. Rest of it, nah. There we go. Sweet. Get some more explosives. Yeah, I set off this trap here, I think. There wasn't anything there, though. Huh, that's kind of weird. Oh, well. Beautiful downtown Diamond City. Let's go talk to Nick. Hey, Nicky boy. What's the word on the bird, Mr. Nick? And here we are in Diamond City. We're going to go see Nick and see what he's got to say about what happened with Kellogg. Don't let down the home team. Buy a swatter. Everybody is still dead. hawking their wares. <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. Buy and sell everything. Here we are. Except since no Let's go see what's up. Come on, Nikki. I'm just asking for your opinion. Would be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well. Speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? Hmm. You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Okay. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. 
<laughs> you read my mind. He had to have a way in and out. Yeah, but something tells me he's not gonna drop by for a chat and coffee. We can talk to him. Feel like holding a seance? <laughs> a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Hmm. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Romari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what <laughs> choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Yeah, actually, he was more cybernetic, so we did pick up something. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Hmm. Well, let's see. Mm. I've got Heather with me. We could take Piper along. Get hit could, in the head? I can relate. I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name. It's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there or we can head out together. I think we'll just meet him there. I'll head there on my own. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. Very cool. Yeah, there's Piper. And there goes Piper. <laughs> and here comes Piper. Hey, Piper. You know, the Institute has a lot of enemies. The Minutemen tangled with them once. The Railroad still does. I've even got some notes on these new guys. The Brotherhood of Steel. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. From what I've heard, they take whatever they want. Especially if it's high tech. They just might have the muscle to give the Institute a run for their money, but they're... Let's just say they have their own agenda. Yeah, and uh, I know all about the railroad, but I don't think Piper knows that I know. You said something about the, the railroad. Supposedly, they help runaway synths escape the Institute, but they're secretive, ultra paranoid. The only thing I have is a rumor, a, a code phrase. Follow the Freedom Trail. 
Piper, as much as I'd like to tell you about him, we are kind of secretive that way. And I know all about the Minutemen being the general, so... I should get going. All right. Hmm. So I guess the next stop will be the memory den. So, you know, going over... Whoop. What? Piper. Heading my way? Uh... Nah, right now. You know what? Never mind. You know where to find me. Yeah. All right. Hey, you see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? We Why were just talking here? about that. Shoot people, in, sir. My dad says outside of shoot people. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I shoot people. <laughs> okay, so the next stop will be the memory den in Good Neighbor. That's where me and Heather are headed, and Dog Meat, wherever he got to. There he is, hanging out by, back there. And right there. Okay, so everybody, that wraps up this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Izzy Smith. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more episodes. You can click the little bell for notifications to let you know whenever a new episode is posted. And until next time, on behalf of Piper, who's headed this way, and Heather, who's standing right there, and Dogmeat, who's standing right there, and Nick, who's off to the memory den, and all of the good people of Diamond City, and all of the good people of Good Neighbor, and this just keeps going longer and longer, doesn't it? <laughs> until next time, take it easy. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.